we'll do back bird to star. Back bird here. You could also grab my ankles next time if you want as you're coming over to support some of that. Coming over. Okay, hands. Okay, most common fall. Um, do you remember the uh, legs straddled and engaged? Mm -hmm. So wide, engaged hips. So one thing that can happen is if the base is very kind of rough with the pop, you really jack your back up bad. So that's why we're engaging our core strong and even lifting our legs even slightly higher at first so that there's less of that tug on the back, okay? Another uh, fall that I've seen is um, when flyers and bases aren't in sync, they, they don't pop at the same time. The flyer like swings their legs before the base, before the base even pops. What happens is you start swinging your legs over too fast before they even pop. Um, what happens is you start to rotate and slip off the feet and, and land right on your head this way. Right? <laughs> you could totally land right on your head, right into the chest. So timing is very essential. That's why I always, for me, I like timing with my flyer and saying one, two, pop. And then when you're falling into me, you notice it's hard to press off your hands because you're ready to crunch. That's why you've got to start pressing within that transition, okay? Do your back. Okay, one more fall is one, two, when I pop you, sometimes the flyers won't engage the core strong enough and won't swing their legs over enough. So what happens is I pop you, you get super high into the star for a second. You get super high, but your rotation isn't far enough, you don't swing far enough this way, that you just go straight up and then straight down behind the flyer's feet, right back this way. That is the absolute worst fall. So that's why for me it's very pertinent that one, two, as the base, I don't say pop, I say swing, so you know to, as the flyer, to swing your legs as far as you can, okay? While engaging your core to protect your back. All right, let's go. This is Rubin from last week. Here you are, grab my ankles, it gives you a little support coming back. Good stuff. Hands. Legs wide. Engage core. Arms, elbows in. Remember, pushing through the transition as you're, as I'm probably pushing in, okay? But your main focus is swinging, and the second thing is to push. One, two, swing. Good. And keep pressing through those arms so you can save that. Save your legs from coming over. Okay? But again, I'd rather you come over too much than too little. Pencil feet back to back fly. Hips forward. Uh, stag knee. I'm going to put this foot on your back to go in the back bird. Okay. Engage hands and feet again. Good. One, two, swing, right? One, two, swing. Good. Good pressing. And the more you're able to swing and get comfortable when you swing, then you can start focusing more on your arms. Because the more you can push in your arms, the more of a float that you'll have. It'll be easier for me to get as a base to get my feet from your hips onto your shoulders. So instead of like a millisecond, you'll give me two milliseconds to be able to bring my feet onto your shoulders. One more time, pencil feet, stack knee, foot coming on your back, straight straddle. Engage hips, pressing through the arms. One, two, swing. That's it. That's it. Pencil feet. One more time, back fly. Legs going back, and we'll exit. Good stuff, good stuff.